and Thomas up with the parent club. Cornette and Woodbury do the tip. Clemens has it, and we are underway. Josh Wilson, Kevin Fahey, and Matt Calio. Tonight's officiating crew for this G League contest. Pinson off the catch, knocks down the three. Two for eight from three last night. Theo Pinson, the former Tar Heel of North Carolina. Long Island with the turnover, tracked down by Jay Sean Page. He takes a three and connects. Six nothing start for the Celtics. He went four for 11 in last night's game. Page off the handoff, you bet. Third three for the main Celtics, up nine nothing in the opening two minutes. Hopefully he comes back after the showcase and gets the Nets back on track. They got a win last night, their first of the year. Clemens, the reverse, but Page on the offensive glass. Celtics four for seven to start the game. A quick outlet to Page. He has eight points to this stage, and he knocks down another three. Two touchdowns to one safety for Long Island. Clemens has numbers. Page sets up shop. Oh yeah! Jay Sean Page! Celtics six for their first nine from the field. Cornette goes high low and Morgan does the rest. Boston Celtics hosting some guy named uh, Steph Curry. I'm not sure if you've heard who he is. There's Brown making his first three of the night. A guy that got hot all game long last night as well. Oh, Coronet up top. Got the outside game going, but then all of a sudden just got stuck in that. Staying outside in the perimeter, not really going to the rim that much. Off the feed, Woodbury is blocked by Coronet. Great recovery by Raekwon Gray. Stays with it for the Nets. Down 21-7, Clemens comes right back. Celtics six for their first seven from deep. Randall off the pick now. Rochelle, oh, he just glides to the rim. Went one on four against the season, getting his own offensive rebounds again and again. He was 10 of 17 from the field. What a start here for Jay Sean Page. 16 points. The Nets without James Harden and others. Celtics without some of their key role players. Players getting called up. G League teams have to make up for it. What a slam the other way. Craig Randall with the throwdown. That's a great point. Nets are top 10 in the G League in pace. 103 and a half possessions per 40. Rattling home a three. Rollins, good start for him. Kind of on their heels and moving around quickly. And they were able to do that last night. Maine's done a great job tonight. Just slowing down the half court offense. Getting good looks. Rochelle to the rescue, second chance opportunity. And he clears out. Pinson speaking from our side. Looking for Morgan. Tees up a three and knocks it down. Miss of a three ball, Maine still shooting seven of 11 overall from three point land. Oh, gray to gray. That was pretty. Great hands, great feet, just a big, big body. I suppose a finger is just enough when he has. Very gigantic hands. How about Morgan and one? Spent the summer league in a couple of games with the Washington Wizards. Rochelle, the handoff to Raekwon Gray. His senior season averaged 15 points a game. First year in the G League. Hey. How about the new guy? Just as, uh, I'm going to steal it from you. Getting the yeah. gist of it out there. He was, he was energetic getting off that plane. Sounds to me like that's uh, relatable to your personal life, the way you <laughs> weave that in. Is Craig Randall high off the glass? Am I accurate when I say that? If you're getting close. Okay. It's not often, too, either. You can go to a basketball game and say that your entire team ro roster played in the first quarter. Jay Sean Page with nine of the team's first 11 points. Here's Brown with that power dribble. Hesitates, hangs, and nothing but net. Whoa, here comes Raekwon Gray, the bulldozer.
Belts shooting the ball much better than last night, at least in the first half. Seven for their first 11 from three. And just keeps the rhythm going. Now eight for 12, the Celtics. Asante Gist landed from New Jersey off the plane in Portland as Brown answers. Ryan Archie Diacono remains out due to injury. Deng Adele is also out with an ankle. Colin Russo remains out. Clements stops on the brakes and hits. Gist into the front court, speeding up. Clemens, he thought about it, fading and hits. Rochelle with the quick dish. Randall the jump stop. And Rochelle, cutting off ball, lays it in. Brown and Gray, Raekwon Gray, eight apiece for the Nets. Oh my oh. goodness. Asante just. This is Clemens. Leaves that runner well short. Collected by Cornette. Pinson wanted the foul for him. And he probably feels, since he exerts so much effort on the defensive end, that he should never get called for oh, something like that. I mean, There's Brown. He's big on the execution, you know, execute the offense. Your, your time's gonna come around at some point in time. You've seen it tonight. Jawan Morgan finishing on the block. Zagorowski's first personal. Clements. Oh, yeah. Nets want to push. They love to push the pace. Josh Gray sets up shop and cuts it back to eight. Two different teams. I mean, you'd think the assists would be up for Long Island since it loves to push the pace. As they cut it to five, four last night on 11 attempts. He's got four on seven attempts in this one. Craig Randall off to the races, sticks with it and lays it in. Don't adjust your TV sets either. That is just the way Mr. Clemens likes his foul shots from over on the elbow of the foul line. Oh, Page picks the pocket. And he skies in for the finish. Nets have call-ups with Brooklyn as well, so they're short man. Five seconds to shoot. Into the lane, Pinson denied. Nets have numbers. Josh Gray lays it in. Coach Christian, I'm good, I'm good. Under a minute to go in the first half. Clemens, 4-3. Six seconds now for the Nets. Josh Gray looks at the clock. Josh Gray to the bucket, lays it in. Team's leading scorer tonight, Brown with 18. And a triple to start the second half. One of the things that stands out too, halftime stat-wise, is just the points in the paint. Pinson, but followed up by Luke Cornett. It's about where the Nets were last night. Half of their points coming inside the green area as Cornett throws it away. Just the fourth Celtics turnover. Randall sets up shot and connects. Nets have cut it to two. The rebound is caught outside the three-point line on the end line. And then just that rebound there. It's a rebound that's at the top of the foul line. You know, it's... Clemens, splash town from three. Cornette's one of those guys that's a good, big rim runner. He'll get out and gets down. Leave. He'll get a block at one end. He's a guy laying in the other. Randall. Celts went just four. Oh, that's the Nets. Celts went five for eight from the free throw line yesterday. Easy two-handed flush for Brandon Rochelle. Now he squares up, triple threat position. Great cut by Clemens and lays it in. Four for seven from the free throw line. Clemens up top, Morgan! Oh, oh, oh. the rim rocker! And one. No answer that time from Randall. Nets are on it, a block for Wooten. Eight players active tonight for Maine. Brown, that is a pure release. Broderick Thomas is up with the Celtics tonight. They're shorthanded. First two of the second half for Jay Sean Page. And he's made an impact. Eight points off the bench. All of those minutes in the second quarter. Eight points in two hours in Maine, right? That's right. Fadeaway three. Brown. 
He's got the outlet pass now. Numbers for the Celtics. Just for three. Oh, got it. he got the friendly bounce in his first home game. Let's see if they can keep it up here in the third. But a two-second differential. Gray with a tough lay-in. He's into double figures now with 11. And these main Celtics, shorthanded with their two-way players, called up to the big club. Just eight players available for Maine as Luke Cornett goes to work in the post. Pins in direct in the traffic here, trying to get back to Cornett on the block. And you see you've got the double team here. See they rotate out, layup. There you go. Way to draw it up, Chris. Sante just gets it a Pinson. Deep three. He got it. Theo Pinson going to be got to attack the glass on both ends. Cornette, tough shot. Clemens, the follow. Largest lead of the night for the Boston the Maine Celtics, leading by 19. And you'd be shocked at his defensive, defensive rebound numbers in a game. Finally, a basket for the Nets. That's been pure tonight. Been a fun watch. Woodbury's follow, that can't go. Another offensive rebound, Brandon Rochelle. Really crucial when you think about it, right? He gets banged up in last night's game, and he has stepped up at an unreal level tonight. Shorthanded Celtics, Zegarowski knocking down the jumper. Since the timeout they took, Celtics have not scored. Into the lane, it's Brown. Wow, he got every touch on the rim. Timeout, Maine. Great pressure up top by Brown against Page. Pass deflected, Morgan gets the three off. He's fouled, and he hits. Shot clock to six. Mains in a 1-3-1 one, one zone. Zagorowski, wide open three. He's got nine points, his first make from distance tonight. And you're likely getting a piece. So after the Rochelle offensive foul, Nets though force a turnover, Zagorowski. Lays it in. It's up to 12 points. It's just one thing the Celtics have struggled with all season long is that perimeter pressure D. Page shovels in. The rest done by Morgan. Josh Gray in the lane. Count the basket. And one. Double team comes. Cornett, the catch. Morgan oh. cut it off in time. That's a great play by Luke Cornett to get it into Morgan. 12-point game. We come up on 90 seconds to go. Great cut by Page. And one. I think the ball wanted him to pass it. Let's get that assist. Randall swirls home a three. I think the league has taken notice of what the Celtics have going out in the PR in Portland. And it's uh, it'll be an interesting second half, well, actually, I should say, regular season. And see how they compete with the rest of the league outside of their pod. 12 rebounds, 8 assists. Celtics win, 111-99. Maine improves to 10-2 on the season, 4-2 here at home, Long Island, 4-8.